MMA fighting here with coach extraordinaire Trevor Whitman. Uh, what's it like being here on the, well, it's not technically a red carpet, but we're calling it a red carpet tonight. I believe it's red. Sure, well, well, you're the one that's now on the broadcast, so we'll believe you. Uh, what do you make of uh, Michael Bisbing's induction, Rashad Evans' induction, uh, Diego Sanchez, uh, Clay Guida's induction, Rich Franklin, uh, lots of big names, trying to uh, put together what, what, just being around these guys and all of these legends. You know, first off, it's the pinnacle. It's you need to win world championships, but to be inducted in the Hall of Fame, it's a lifetime of recognition. I mean, you are going in the record books for the lifetime of the industry. So that is a huge accomplishment for everyone who's included. And I man, I'm just honored to be a part of it. So I mean, congrats to everyone who is involved with it, and uh, man, it's, a, it's an honor. What do you make of your new role uh, on the broadcast? You're brought in uh, between rounds a lot. You're breaking down the coaches. Uh, is it hard? Has it gotten easier? Are some coaches easier to to dissect when you're kind of, when you when you hear what they say? Yeah, it's uh, it's hard. You know, it's uh, I love to be there live, watch the fights. Uh, but when it comes to critiquing, it's tough. Again, I, I'm the first to say, man, I have screwed up so many damn times in the corner, and I've had great corners, but it's, it's, so for me to go out there and call things, I think one thing that would make it fun for me is let me tell some stories. Let me tell some stories of the times I forgot mouthpieces sure. and looked at the guy and said, oh, man, we got a minute left, but I can't jump up there, especially, like, for the boxing world, you get up on the canvas, fights get stopped. Sure. So, uh, Man, I would love to tell those stories. Not all the times that I have screwed up, it is what made me, you know, learn from those situations. I think that would make it funner. But again, all the coaches out there, they're my brothers. They're, they're the people I love this industry with. I love sharing the cage with them from a competitive aspect. I love that. But for me to say, hey, what's right, what's wrong, it's stuff. Has there been a moment when you're watching that you as a coach, you would say, well, this is what I would say. But then when you hear the coaches give their critique, you would have been like, well, I never would have thought of that. So that has been the best part. Like, there's so many times that I've been in there and I'm like, oh, my God, like, that's a great perspective. And then they go out and do it. Like, that, to me, that kind of just kind of stamps who am I to be saying something because I haven't spent the time in the camp. I haven't been with them for 12 weeks. I, I don't know the game plan. And when you see it and you hear it, like, that's, to me, spectacular. So, again, how am I going to critique? And when you listen to 30 seconds of it, it's awesome. I love to see... My friends in the industry out there doing your thing, and that's to, to me to sit live and watch it. I mean, it's that that's that is the best part. On top of that, I love to talk to the fans. And one final one: Would you, when you're cornering a fighter, would you want to hear another coach's critique on you? I honestly, I wouldn't mind it because I love it. I think uh, criticism, especially from someone that's coming from a place that they like you. I think you need to know different perspectives because perspectives are key to life. I could say I'm right. And you're wrong, but that's only from this perspective. If I step around, we're on the complete opposite. So again, perspectives are just perspectives. And I don't take anything to heart. But again, these are people's careers. So, I mean, they got the families watching, things like that. I don't take much things to heart. Uh, I hope they don't. I'm just here to kind of go out there and help the industry. But uh, man, I love all the coaches out there. Who am I? That's, that's the first thing I say. Who the hell am I to be saying some shit? Well, I can't think of a better way to end it, but I appreciate it and uh, have fun on the red carpet. Thank you.